What it do, Dream Team? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction video to the hilarious comedian that is known as Al Murray. The human brain naturally thinks in English. Does it now, Al? Before we dive in, if you have it to enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Al, talk to me about this theory. The British thinking <laughs> keeps us permanently one step ahead of the world because we have a natural advantage that keeps us one step ahead of the rest of the world. And that is because we the British, the reason we are British thinking is because we the British think in English. That's right. <laughs> English is the easiest, most straightforward language to think in London because English is natural, isn't it? English is a natural language that forms naturally in the human brain. <laughs> Deep down in the grey matter, grey is an English word. There's a clue for you. <laughs> Deep down in the grey matter, grey is an English word. It's a clue. So the human brain naturally thinks in English because it's a straightforward language, which I don't know foreigners would agree with that but I'll, I'll listen to you Al because I think in English and it's absolutely easy for me but uh that that's why the England is one step always one step ahead okay spell with an E Neil huh? <laughs> shit if you can't spell the word colour right you're not going to get the individuals on the money are you I know that's funny because England or UK you spell color with a U and in America we take that U off. Down! In the grey matter, the human brain, the nerve synapses knit together to form the English alphabet. Yeah? And that's yeah. why all the other languages in the world use our alphabet. Because there's English Ooh. in there somewhere struggling to escape. Except, <laughs> the course, for the Chinese who've gone on some appalling detour. <laughs> Jesus, what is it, eh? It's pictures of things that are pictures of things they're no longer pictures of. Say! <laughs> no wonder they're angry and confused. I mean, <laughs> with an alphabet like that, you would numb your food, wouldn't you? <laughs> I know nothing about China, obviously. <laughs> well, no, I know one thing. Apparently, the most common name in the world is Wong. Did you know that, Steve? No. Wong. You really need to brush up. Don't you? <laughs> Did you know that, Steve? No. You really, yeah, you really need to learn some things about the rest of the world, Steve. Should be a common fact, Steve. Wong. The most common name in the world is Wong. But that's not true, is it, mate? No. It's Tracy, obviously. <laughs> now. <laughs> We think in English. English is a natural language that falls naturally in the human brain. We've got any teachers here tonight? Anyone who teachers? Yeah, hi. Yeah. Where are you? What's your name, pal? Carl. Carl, beautiful British name. Now, what do you teach, Carl? English. English? Good boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to teach it very much, though, do you? It's, <laughs> it's natural. Now, so. <laughs> Don't have to teach it very much, though, do you? It's natural. It's natural. It's understood. I always said that, like, uh, and I always like clown friends, like, if they were like doing bad in English, I'd be like, bro, how you doing bad in English? Like, it's English, like, we speak English. But then, I mean, when you break it down in the pronouns and the adverbs and the adjectives and, and all of it, it, it because I mean, I never did bad in English. I always did great in English. But, I mean, it, it is understandable why people could struggle. I'll, I'll just say that. Is this called posh or normal, sir? It's in Japan. It's in Japan? <laughs> So you're teaching Japanese people English. Yeah. But you've noticed in your experience that English forms naturally the human brain, haven't you? It does. Yes, it does. Good man. <laughs> you're my kind of teacher, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher professions in all sorts of shit, isn't it, like Jim? Yeah? Ever since they got rid of the cane, they haven't really been able to attract the right sort of people. <laughs> <laughs> so you've noticed, Carl, that English forms naturally the human brain. Good boy. Yeah? Yeah? So English forms naturally in the brain. As a result, English is the most beautiful, poetic, diverse, and yeah. fucking expressive language in the world. There's no language with the higher realm of sheer fucking expressiveness. Now, we can't be now, how did this happen? Hey, Carl, do you know? No idea. No idea. Well, I'll tell you, mate, it's actually a miracle. Huh? 
There should be no language in this country. There should be mm. none. Because given half a chance, British people would rather not speak to each other if they can possibly fucking help. I might have a little bit of British in me because I definitely understood and felt that it be times where I just, I like to, I don't want nobody talking to me. I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to keep to myself. And yeah, if I can help it, I'd like to go out, do errands, do things, go to stores and just not be disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know God save the Queen? No! Not that, you see? We'd rather not speak to each other if we can possibly help it. Now, yeah. fortunately something came along that saved the English language, and that is, of course, the weather. The <laughs> <laughs> weather in this country is terrible. We've got any Australians in tonight? Any Aussies in? Fantastic. Welcome back, love. <laughs> <laughs> You've done your time, you've paid your debt now. <laughs> you've done your time, you paid your debt. I love Australians genetically engineered for bar work. Now, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> What's your name, sweetheart? <laughs> Marie, beautiful British name. Where, where are you from in Australia, Marie? Queensland. Queensland, fantastic. That's that bit in the north, isn't it? Where are you from, Brisbane? No, further north. Further north, fantastic. I love yours, you're beautiful people, Marie. I think you're fantastic people. Yeah. You don't fuck about, do you? I mean, the way you've taken that English language and boiled it down to its barest bones. Yes, 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 they have. They completely have. They have slang for every word there is. But I love it. I love some of their slang. Yeah, Aussies have some of the best slang, and it's hilarious. It's very impressive. <laughs> is it, Marie, you could say, good day, couldn't you? Yeah? You could say, good day to you, sir. <laughs> and you choose not to. Yeah? You say, good day, like that. <laughs> Save yourself a valuable split second. <laughs> Extra time to loll around on the beach and do fuck all. <laughs> and then the genius, the genius of it is you take that double O and you save it up for use of the ridiculous place name later on, don't you? <laughs> oh, you can't watch Al Murray and I absolutely love it. But the human brain naturally thinks in English. What do you guys think about that concept? I don't know about that concept because I, I feel like there's plenty of humans out there who don't naturally think in English. But but that's just me. That's just me, Al. Uh, but Al Murray's absolutely hilarious. I love when he addressed the Aussies. Welcome back. <laughs> You did your cry. He said, you did your time. You paid your dues. Now you're back over here. Uh, then he's talking to the English teachers. You know the human brain naturally takes in English. Yeah, I have. <laughs> uh, so, Al Murray's just hilarious. That's all we got for this one. If you guys enjoyed that, please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time.